And there you go, you get fire. Hey guys, Justin with Backyard Bushcraft. So we're away with some family and friends camping and we had some rain come through the area last night. So I figured it would be a great time to teach these kids that no matter what the conditions, damp, dry, super wet, we can get a fire going. We're going to collect some firewood and then we're gonna make some char cloth. So that So here we are just collecting some wood and I'm gonna show them how they can break a big piece of wood like this to process it into something smaller for our campfire. So a real easy way, Mother Nature provides things for us we don't always see. You're gonna take this piece of stick, you're gonna put it between the branches over here, and you're gonna be able to process the wood into something smaller and more manageable. Okay, so if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that uh, my buddy Dave and I went to Cold Cracker Bushcraft out in Pennsylvania, and they pretty much taught us how to make a fire the proper way. Uh, the first thing we did was collected a small bundle of, of wood. I had the kids go around and they collected medium-sized wood and larger-sized pieces of wood. And what we're gonna do uh, is use some fat wood to get that fire started. And then we're gonna start adding to that pile and hopefully, even though it rained last night and we have some wet conditions, we can maintain a fire all day long. Everyone's good with that? Yeah. yeah. So just one thing you also need to keep in mind when collecting wood, if it has been wet out or even if it hasn't rained out, you don't want green wood. And what I mean by that is when you collect your wood and you try to snap it, you want to hear a snap. If you don't hear the wood snap and it bends like this, that's a green piece of wood. That means there's still some life in there. You want a piece of wood that's gonna break right in half. You want to hear a snap. It's very important. And that's to ensure that you have dry wood or as dry as wood as possible to start your fire. Okay, so I got everything organized. Uh, I have my backstop in the fire pit down there and I've processed some uh, fat wood. This is just store-bought fat wood. Uh, full disclosure, I didn't go around the woods looking for this. But what you want, uh, if you see any pine trees, uh, especially downed pine trees, a lot of times what will happen is the sap in that tree will go to where a knot is and you will find this amazing uh, fire starter wood. It smells like turpentine, uh, extremely flammable, and in pretty much any condition, you'll be able to uh, get a fire started. So I'm just gonna have the kids take a whiff of this so they get the idea of what it smells like. So if they are in the woods, they have to find some they know what to look for. Okay. Smells like smells like turpentine. Okay. This is what you're gonna look for. That's that's fat wood. Be nice. Be nice. All right. All right. So while they go around and they smell that, I'm just gonna go down and I'm gonna get this uh, fat wood lit, and then we're gonna start making our fire. So you can see how easily that fat wood lit up and we're going to let that burn for a few seconds. We're going to get that really, really hot and now uh, we're going to start adding our bundles of wood that we've collected and hopefully, like I said, we have some uh, good success here in maintaining a, uh, a fire. And as you see the flame comes through, this is wet wood. You can feel how damp it is. Uh, and what we're going to do is just slowly add our wood to it. And once you see the flame pop through like this, you're going to be able to then, I'm pretty confident at this point that we're going to be able to maintain a fire for most of the day. So you guys see this wood, you all know it rained last night. Wood is wet. And it's burning no problem. All right, now, now you see how we got the flame going like this? So now we can start adding our bigger pieces of wood. All right, so now that we have a little bit more of an established flame, I'm going to take some of my medium pieces of wood. And as you notice, what am I not doing? I'm not one sticking this, right? We don't one stick. We don't one stick a fire. You're taking the whole piece, the whole bundle, or maybe half the bundle, and you're gonna add it right on. So I'm gonna get this fire nice and hot, and once we get it really established, 
Uh, I'm gonna get these kids going with some with some of this cotton that I have. We're gonna process this cotton down. We're gonna put in some uh, tins that I brought along with me. We're gonna make some char cloth and I'm gonna show them how they can make uh, a fire by sparking an ember onto the char cloth and creating some uh, some fire in any condition. Nice and easy. Try to put it in there nice and easy. Nice and easy. Here you go. Perfect. Go ahead. Somewhere in there. Perfect. That's perfect. Okay, so we took our cotton, we put it in our tin, we made our char cloth, and now these guys are gonna sit here and they're gonna try to strike a flint and steel and try to get an ember on a uh, on a piece of char cloth. First off, we're gonna see what their char cloth looks like. So let's see what everyone got. First, I don't remember. Got oh, damn. That looks pretty good. Keep it in there. That looks pretty good, Gavin. Screw, 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 screw. Oh boy. He's upside down. All right, that's good enough. All right, what do you got over there, boys? All right, Ryan's got his chocolate. What about you, Jesse? Jesse's got his chocolate. Perfect. Got a lot, but we got. It's like we were successful at getting some chocolate. Okay, so what I have here. I have uh, five bird's nests. We're gonna let these kids try to strike a steel with some flint. We're gonna get an ember on their char cloth and we're gonna try to start a fire. Blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up, blow up. All right, now, nice, thanks. Nice. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Yeah, let go. Oh, the blue? No. All right, now you got it. Take the char, take the char. Go right there. Take the char off the stone. All right, watch your fingers. There you go. Now, you're going to put it in your bird's nest. Hold it around gently. Hold it, and then blow into it. Watch your face when it starts. Blow into it. Get in there and blow. Blow, blow, blow. Long breath. Long. There you go. Put your hands around it. Put your hands around it. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up. Easy, 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 easy. Long as there you go. Keep going. There you go. Yes, it does. Keep going. I didn't get smoked yet. Keep going. What did you do? When it's my turn. He's got it. There you go, Good fire. There you go. Come on, you vape Oh my god, I'm trying to pass out. Hey, 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 there you go. Oh, almost, almost. Do it again. He's got one. He's got one. There you go. You got it, the Ember. Perfect. Yeah. So put that down. Put your rock down. There you go. That's a stone. There you go. Put it in there. Stand up. Nice and easy. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, buddy. Hold on. Hold on. Let me see. Okay, okay. Well, I get it. Like, you don't have to be so gentle at this point. You really want to get it in there. Mm -hmm. Right? Just like this, and you're going to hold it like this. Hold it like this. Right? Right? Now blow nice and long, hard, even hard. Blow hard and long. Blow, blow, blow. Blow. You see a cherry up in there? There you go. There you go. Watch your fingers. It's going to really ignite, so be careful. Keep blowing. There you go. There you go. There you go, Jesse. A little bit more. Keep going. Go! Hold it up here on an angle, and then you're gonna come. There you go. There you go. Blow, 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 blow. Perfect. Now. Take that. Put that in your bundle. Look, I have sand up now. 
It's when we took that picture. All right. All right, you're just going to sit there. You're going to hold it. Hamburger bun? You're going to hold it like this and you're going to blow. Mom, <coughs> go blow. Look up in the air. I use those. Blow up in the air. There you go. It's going to go fast for you. There you go. There you go. Right. Don't be afraid. Hit it. Blow, 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 blow. All right, you got it. Put your rock down. Stand up. Stand up. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Who lost tonight? Jake, 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 Blow like you're making out with someone. Please explain to me how to make out like you're making out with someone. <laughs> 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 longer, longer. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Colin, want a double wheel? Listen up a little bit. Nope. Alright, blow it nice and easy. Come on, you got it. Easy and long. Slow and steady. Yeah! <laughs> All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for me today. Camping Trip 2024. Uh, we showed you how to make a fire. We showed you how to make char cloth. And then we showed you how to strike a flint and steel to get that fire going with uh, some Drew Twine. If you like the video, hit, hit that the, like. Hit the like button. <laughs> hit that like. Subscribe <laughs> and ring the bell so you, you get notified it. when we upload. <laughs> Close. We're gonna hit that like button if you like the video. We're gonna subscribe to the channel if you're not already a subscriber. But more importantly, you're gonna ring the bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. I really appreciate you checking me out today. This is Justin with Backyard Bushcraft, signing out.